All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to stop and freeze a streaming video. So what we're going to do is I've got it muted right now so we don't listen to the sound. I'm going to go ahead and open up this show that's on Prime by clicking the center here. You can see I've got it highlighted right there. If I wanted to go to the other show, I could do that. But I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to click in the middle and open that up. All right, and then I'm going to hit resume right there. I'm going to hit the middle and it's going to play it. And you can see it's muted. So then, as it's playing right now, I can just go right here to this little button on the right-hand side. And if I click down on that, it stops it and it gives me a timeline down here. You see that? See, right now, this is where it's at on the video. So because I resumed it. Now, if I want it to... Uh, if I wanted to uh, play it, all I do is just pre press that button right there. Watch. And it starts playing again. And after a couple of seconds, all that stuff on the bottom disappears. All right. If you want to stop it, you click that. Bam. There it is. It stopped. And you can see this in the middle. That's telling you that it stopped. And that's how you, uh, you can move it. Now, let's say I want to go backwards. What I could do when it stopped like that, I just click on the left side of this circle, and look, it lets me take it backwards, all right? So I'm just clicking here, and then I just hit stop right here, bam, stops it right there, and it's going to come to that spot in there. Now let me go ahead and stop it right here so you guys can see. Well, I might have to wait for it to do this part here. So when you do that, what happens is it takes a couple seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here and stop it. As you can see, look at the timeline. I pulled it all the way back from here, right? So let's say I want to go forward on the timeline. I would stop it. Number one, you got to stop it before you can do it. Then I would go to the right side and I would just click it like this. So I'm just clicking right side, right? You can see that little ball moving. You see the ball down there? Watch. So let's say I just go ahead and keep clicking, keep clicking until I get it where I want it. And I think I ended up somewhere right around here. And then if I'm good with that, I'm just gonna click this little key right there, watch. Bam. And then it's gonna take a while for it to get back there. Yep, it's starting, to, it's almost there. Let's get back in here. So then once it, once it opens up, there it is. Now I'm just gonna stop it right here for a second. And you can see it moved, we moved it up to here. It was back there. So that's how you move it forward. All right, to reiterate, what you have to do is you've got to stop it first. So if I press this button here, it'll stop it, and it's going to give me a timeline right there. Then if I want to move on that timeline either forward or back, if I want to go backwards, I'm going to press the left side. And you see that little ball moving back? And then if I'm good there, I just hit it right here to stop it. And then it's going to play right there. Okay? I think it's going to play right there. I don't know. We'll see in a second. Okay, there it's playing. Now, and let's say I want to move forward. I stop it. Right? There's the timeline. And then I come on the right side and I just click. And you can see the ball moving forward. So I'm, I'm advancing. And then all I got to do, if I like that, I'm just going to click there. And it's just going to start playing. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you move up and down your timeline in a streaming video on your Samsung QLED 4K Smart Remote. Peace out.